Gavord Giorgio Petrosian, born December 10, 1985, is an Armenian-born Italian kickboxer who competes in the middleweight division. He is nicknamed the Doctor and noted for his supreme technical skills, ringsmanship and defensive prowess which has seen him defeat some of the best strikers in the world while taking little to no damage. As of September 2022, he is ranked the number 5 lightweight and number 6 pound-for-pound -pound kickboxer in the world by Combat Press, and is widely regarded as one of the greatest kickboxers of all time. As of October 12, 2023, he is ranked number 5 in the 1 featherweight kickboxing rankings. After immigrating to Italy from Armenia at 13 years old, Petro Sion began his professional career as a Muay Thai fighter at 16, starting out as a minus 54 kilograms per 119 pounds bantamweight before moving up through the weight classes and settling at the minus 70 kilograms per 154 pounds middleweight division, taking numerous titles along the way. Following a decision loss to Nonthanin Por Pramuk at Lumpany Stadium in January 2007, he went on a six-year, 42-fight, undefeated streak considered to be one of the most dominant reigns in the history of the sport which was eventually ended by Andy Risty at Glory 12, New York in November 2013. His switch to kickboxing rules and subsequent ascent began in 2008 when he began competing for its showtime in K1, and he established himself as the world's top middleweight with two consecutive K1 World Max World Championship tournament championships in 2009 and 2010. He then joined Glory in 2012 following its showtime and K1's demise and further cemented his place as the elite minus 70 kilograms per 154 pounds kickboxer by winning the Glory 2012 Lightweight Slam Tournament. Early life born in Yerevan, Armenian Soviet Socialist Republic, Soviet Union, now Armenia, on December 10, 1985, as Gavord Petrosyan, he emigrated to Italy at the age of 13 with his father, Andranik, and older brother, Stepan, arriving illegally in the country in the back of a truck. They initially lived homeless in Milan, sleeping in train stations and on the streets, but were later taken in by a family in Gorizia who offered them work as night watchmen at their factory. After settling in Italy, he was soon joined by his mother, Corinne, sister, Liana, and younger brother, Armin, who is also a world champion kickboxer. Inspired by Bruce Lee and Jean-Claude Van Damme martial arts films, Petro Sion decided to begin training in Muay Thai at 14 years old but was initially turned away from the gym for being too small. He persisted, however, and eventually started his training under Alfio Romanet at the Satori Gladiatorium Nemesis Gym and had his first fight at the age of 16. He continues to reside in Gorizia in northern Italy and worked as a bricklayer early in his career. Career Muay Thai Beginnings and Early Career, 2002-2006, Giorgio Petrosian started his career as a minus 54 kilograms per 119 pounds bantamweight at the age of 16 and defeated a local Italian fighter in his February 2002 debut, breaking his toes while doing so. He turned professional shortly after and would compete almost exclusively under Muay Thai rules for the next five years. In his first title fight on November 9, 2003, he scored a third-round knockout over Giannato Zarbo to be crowned the Muay Thai Association MTA, Italian national champion. Steadily moving up in weight and competition level, he captured the MTA European minus 65 kilograms per 143 pounds championship by outpointing Fabio Pinca in 2004 before making his only successful defense of the belt in February 2005 with another points win over Shemsi Bikairi in his hometown of Gorizia. He fought to a draw with three-time Lumpany Stadium champion Pinsinkai in Bologna, Italy on April 10, 2005, but soon returned to the win column and defeated Olivier Chech by second-round technical knockout in a WMC Intercontinental Welterweight, minus 66.7 kg per 147 pounds, championship match in Nova Gorica, Slovenia on June 25, 2005. Petro Sion then made the journey to Thailand to train, visiting the WMC Samui Gym in Koh Samui and Tor. Silakai in Nakhon Ratchasima. He stopped Thai fighter Patch with a low kick in round 3 at Fetch Buncha Samui Stadium in Koh Samui in February 2006 before returning to Italy to compete in the Italian Extreme 4 four man tournament in Medina on April 1, 2006, which he ran through, finishing both opponents in the first round. 
he floored Richard Barnhill with a left hook before putting him away with a low kick in the semifinals and gave an almost identical performance in the final when he dispatched Roll Rink with a leg kick shortly after knocking him down with a right hook. This also marked the third consecutive fight in which Petro Sion had stopped opponents with low kicks. He became a world champion for the first time on June 10, 2006, by knocking out Benito Copain with a first-round high kick to win the vacant Combat League World minus 66.7 kg per 147 pounds Muay Thai Championship in Nova Gorica. He would go on to successfully defend this title three times before the end of the year, TKOing Johnny Tancray in round four in Sardinia, Italy on August 5th coing Frankie Hutters in round two in Portanone, Italy on September 5th and winning a unanimous decision over Imro Mainen in Skeed, Netherlands on November 19, moving up to middleweight. Petro Sion marked his arrival in the weight class that he would go on to dominate by winning the 8-man 72 kg per 158 pounds tournament at Janus Fight Night. 2006 in Padua, Italy, on December 2, 2006 he took a unanimous decision win against Cedric Muller in the quarterfinals and TKO'd Frayn Radnick in the semis, knocking him down twice in round one with a left cross to the solar plexus, before beating Marco Peak via another unanimous decision in the final. First defeat and subsequent kickboxing breakthrough, 2007-2008, Petro Sion fought at the historic Lumpany Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand for the first time on January 23rd. 2007, where he was also handed the first loss of his career, dropping a decision to Nonthan and Poor Pramic. In an interview, Petro Sion said the promoters required him to drink an extra two liters of water after he weighed in at 70 kilograms, two kilograms below the agreed upon weight of 72 kilograms. The drink given to Petro Sion caused him to have stomach cramps and made it very difficult for him to fight, though he decided to go through with it anyway. After the bout, Nonthanen retired, quickly ending the possibility of a rematch. He was able to bounce back from this loss by recording back-to-back -back wins, a third-round TKO of Sadio Sissoko on March 17, 2007, and a unanimous decision over Arslan Magomedov on April 14, 2007, at K1 Italy Octagon 2007, both fights taking place in Milan, Italy. From there, he was offered the biggest fight of his career at that point when he replaced John Wayne Parr, who withdrew after injuring his ribs training. With Nathan Corbett, to challenge Bwaka Por Pramic for his WMC World Junior Middleweight, minus 69.8 kg per 154 pounds, championship at K1 Fighting Network Scandinavian Qualification 2007 in Stockholm, Sweden on May 19, 2007, after five rounds, the fight was ruled a split draw and, consequently, Bwaka retained his title. Petro Sion then went on to defeat Abdullah Mabel twice within two months in his next couple of fights, decisioning him in Padua on May 26, 2007, and then TKOing him in Trieste on July 27, 2007. After a first-round knockout of Barraus Rastigar in Arnhem, Netherlands on October 13, 2007, he entered the Janus Fight Night 2007 minus 72 kg per 158 pounds tournament, the event he had won a year previously, on November 24, 2007. In the quarterfinals, he beat Jose Reese by unanimous decision. Then, in the semis, he met Abdullah Mabel for the third time in six months and bested the Frenchman once again, winning another unanimous decision. In the final, Petro Sion defeated another familiar opponent by unanimous decision, Marco Peak, who he had also faced in the final the previous year. In early 2008, Petro Sion made the transition to Oriental Rules, Broken Anchor, kickboxing when he signed with the It's Showtime organization, making his promotional debut with a unanimous decision victory over Luis Reese at Balance, It's Showtime 75 Max Trophy Final 2008 in S. Bosch, Netherlands on March 15, 2008. April 2008 was another pivotal month in Petro Sion's career as he made his first foray onto the K1 circuit, TKOing Mikel Kolej in 5 at K1 Italy Octagon 2008 in Milan on the 12th and forcing two second round standing eight counts en route to taking a unanimous decision over Chris Njimbai at the K1 World Grand Prix 2008 in Amsterdam Supercard at the Amsterdam Arena on the 26th following a brief return to the Muay Thai scene with wins over Kagri Ermis in Tilburg, Netherlands, on May 24, 
2008 and Rafik Bukuri in a Bono term, Italy. On June 28, 2008, Petro Sion did not fight again until November when he took to the ring twice within three weeks. On November 8, he beat Neri Paul Fairtax by unanimous decision at Janus Fight Night, the legend. Then, on November 29, he took another decision over Warren Stevelman's at its Showtime 2008 Eindhoven. Consecutive K1 World Max Tournament Championships, 2009-2010, Petro Sion took the World Kickboxing Network, WKN, Intercontinental Welterweight, minus 69.9 kg per 154 pounds, Oriental Championship on January 31, 2009 when he stopped David Javakia with a liver kick inside the opening stanza in Turin, Italy. On March 14, 2009, at Octagon Presents, its Showtime 2009 in Milan, he scored his first win over a truly elite fighter, taking a points victory against Andy Sauer. Using just about everything in his arsenal to keep Andy Sauer off balance and out of his range, Petro Sion was seemingly in control of the exchanges. However, the fight got dramatic when the judges unexpectedly ruled it a draw after three rounds, sending the fight into an extension round to decide the winner. Things got even more heated when Sauer was dropped by a punch in the extension round and referee Jipu Beta declined to give him a count. In the end, the judges saw things the way of Petro Sion and gave him the unanimous decision in what was considered a major upset. Sporting an impressive January 2, 53 record and now holding a victory over a two-time K1 Max champion in Sauer, Petro Sion was invited to compete in the annual K1 World Max Tournament for the first time. At the tournament's opening round at the K1 World Max 2009 World Championship Tournament Final 16 in Fukuoka, Japan on April 21, 2009, he controlled Jabber Askarov for two rounds before putting him away with a knee to the midsection in three. Following a unanimous decision win against Falder Sharbari at its Showtime 2009 Amsterdam on May 16, 2009, Petro Sion faced another one-time K1 Max champion in the form of Albert Kraus in the tournament's quarterfinal stage at the K1 World Max 2009 World Championship Tournament Final 8 in Tokyo, Japan on July 13, 2009. Petro Sion defeated him soundly, winning a unanimous decision and qualifying for the round of four three months later. On October 26, 2009, at the K1 World Max 2009 World Championship Tournament Final in Yokohama, Japan, he defeated Yuya Yamamoto in the semifinals but suffered a broken hand in the process. In round one, he dropped Yamamoto with a left hook, but the Japanese fighter was able to return to his feet following the referee's count. He was still visibly hurt, however, and Petro Sion swarmed to knock him out with a right hook seconds later. Advancing to the final despite his hand injury, he met Andy Sauer for the second time. Petro Sion dominated all three rounds and dropped Sauer with a knee to the body in the second, en route to a unanimous decision victory, clinching the coveted K1 World Max Tournament Championship. As the reigning K1 Max Champion, Petro Sion was scheduled to face Masato in the Japanese Legends Retirement Match at Dynamite. 2009 in Saitama, Japan on December 31, 2009 but his broken hand kept him out of the fight and he was replaced by Andy Sauer. He instead returned to the ring on January 30, 2010, defending his WKN Intercontinental title against Mohamed Diaby in Turin. Although giving up a sizable reach advantage to the lanky Diaby, Petro Sion was able to get inside and constantly connect. Midway through round one, he connected with a clean punch, dropping the Frenchman. In round two, he continued the pressure, peppering Diaby with shots and earning a second knockdown when Diaby simply could not stand any longer. Diaby gamely made it to his feet, but his corner had seen enough and threw in the towel. He earned a unanimous decision win against Kem Sitsung Pinong in a competitive match, the Thai fighters first under kickboxing the rule set, at Octagon Presents, its Showtime 2010 in Milan on March 13, 2010, 38, but re-injured his hand in doing so and thus two more proposed matchups. A March 27 meeting with Yoshihiro Sato at the K1 World Max 2010-70kg Japan Tournament in Saitama, and a fight with
Nikki Holskin at its Showtime 2010 Amsterdam on May 29 were shelved. After healing up from his injuries, Petro Sion made his comeback to K1 and entered into the K1 World Max 2010 tournament, winning a unanimous decision against Vitaly Gurkov in the round of 16 at the K1 World Max 2010 in Seoul World Championship Tournament Final 16 in Seoul, South Korea on October 3, 2010. After a clear 10-9 opening round, the reigning champion began really picking the tall Belarusian apart with counterpunches, catching kicks and slipping punches en route to another dominant second frame. By the third round, Gurkov's nose was bloodied and busted, and the Belarusian could offer up no reply to the doctor's surgical strikes. A fighter with an extensive Muay Thai background, Gurkov also spent much of the fight clinched up and was eventually yellow-carded for such action. At the K1 World Max 2010 World Championship Tournament Final in Tokyo on November 8, 2010, he again met with Albert Krauss in the quarterfinals and the match was identical to the pair's first meeting a year earlier as the Dutchman found himself being countered for the majority of the fight and lost a wide unanimous decision. Against Mike Zambides in the semis, while the short Greek aggressively pursued him around the ring with leaping hooks and haymakers, Petro Sion evaded and further countered him with punches and step knees en route to another UD victory. In the final, he faced off against hometown fighter Yoshihiro Sato. Although Sato's height and reach advantage caused him some problems, Petro Sion was still able to dominate the match and took the unanimous decision victory to be crowned the K1 World Max Champion for the second year in a row and become the only fighter ever to defend a K1 Max title. Just as in the 2009 K1 Max tournament, Petro Sion broke his hand for the third time during the 2010 edition. This injury caused him to withdraw from a planned fight with Page and Suck Super Pro Samui at Yanis Evgenikos Presents, its Showtime Athens in Athens, Greece on December 11, 2010, in which he was replaced by Andy Sauer. Further hand injuries and promotional problems, 2011-2012, Giorgio Petrosian was initially due to take on Johan Leiden at Thai Box Mania 2011 in Turin on January 29, 2011, but the Frenchman withdrew in advance after conceding that he would be unable to make the minus 70 kilograms per 154 pounds weight limit. Sudsakorn Sorklin Mee stepped in as his replacement and ran the Petro Sion relatively close in match that showed why both men are where they are in the sport but Petro Sion nonetheless had the upper hand throughout the fight and was able to pull off the unanimous decision victory. He then defeated Cosmo Alexander by UD at the Fight Code, Dragon Series 2011 Round 2 in Milan on March 12, 2013. Although a fourth match with Abila Mabel was rumored for the May 14, 2011 its Showtime 2011 Lion event in Lyon, France, Petro Sion eventually fought Shahid Ulad El Hajj and, after dominating the first two rounds, accidentally kicked El Hajj in the groin in Round 3. El Hajj could not continue and the bout was ruled a no contest. On July 18, 2011, in Tokyo at Rebels 8 and its Showtime Japan Countdown 1, Petro Sion dominated Hinata to a unanimous points victory, controlling the fight by slipping almost all of Hinata's punches, checking low kicks and catching body kicks to disrupt his opponent's rhythm. The Japanese fighter's lack of head movement also made him an easy target for Petro Sion's superior boxing. However, he broke his hand a fourth time in the match. With K1 experiencing extreme financial difficulties, the K1 World Max was not organized in 2011 and its Showtime instead held its own high-level middleweight tournament, its Showtime Fast and Furious 70 Max, in Brussels, Belgium on September 25, 2011. Petro Sion was set to take part, but his broken hand forced him to withdraw and he was replaced by Robin Van Roosmalen who went on to win the competition. After having surgery on his hand, he took to the ring again in a fight with an unheralded Zeban Diaz at Street Culture, Fight Club Group and Canary Kickboxing Federation Presents, its Showtime 53 in Tenerife, Spain on November 12, 2011. The Spanish judges scored the bout a split decision in favor of Petro Sion in a fight more straightforward than the scorecards may suggest. In January 2012, Petro Sion terminated his contract with its Showtime, which acted as his management team as well as his promoter, due to them not being able to secure the money he was owed by K1 for winning the 2010 K1 World Max Tournament.
he stated I think I have shown enough patience. I have been repeatedly guaranteed the compensation due. Twelve months have passed without anything, following a number of promises to pay. I remain willing to fight for anyone interested in giving me his gala tournaments, with no limits or proprietary. Now a free agent, he returned to Italy to fight independently and in his first outing since leaving its showtime defeated Abraham Rocchini via unanimous decision at Yakeo Extreme 2012 in Milan on January 21, 2012. Then, in a much-anticipated matchup with Artur Kishenko at Octagon 2012 in Milan on March 24, 2012, Petro Sayan once again displayed his dominance, outworking the Ukrainian every step of the way to take the win on all three judges' scorecards. Glory, 2012-2015, Petro Sayan signed with the newly founded Glory organization a week after the Kishenko fight and was immediately entered into the forthcoming Glory 2012 lightweight, minus 70 kg per 154 pounds, slam tournament, at the lightweight slam's opening round at Glory 1, Stockholm on May 26, 2012, Petro Sion was drawn against Fabio Pinka in a rematch eight years in the making. Petro Sion went to work from the beginning, attacking his opponent. Pinka was able to withstand the onslaught, however, and even pressed the issue on becoming more offensive minded in the fight. As the match went on, Petro Sion used this as an advantage and methodically countered with hooks and liver kicks. Petro Sion's elusiveness was also on display as he ducked and weaved out of the way of Pinka's punches and answered with a counterstrike every time before winning a unanimous decision to advance to the round of eight. Moving on to Glory 3, Rome on November 3, 2012, in Rome, Italy, Petro Sion went up against Kai Hollenbeck in the quarterfinals, winning by TKO when Hollenbeck suffered a torn anterior cruciate ligament in the second round after dropping the American with a perfectly timed left hook in the first. He then beat David Kiria by unanimous decision in the semis and, in the final, faced Robin Van Roosmalen in a highly anticipated showdown. Petro Sion was able to nullify the hard-punching Dutchman by using rangy jabs and lead teep kicks to control the distance while landing power combos at will and took the unanimous points victory to win the third major tournament of his career. In a one-off match outside of glory in Trieste on March 2, 2013, he turned in an uncharacteristically aggressive performance against Ole Larson as he dropped Larson with a knee to the liver before knocking him out with a high kick immediately after, leaving the outmatched Dane unconscious on the canvas for several minutes. This was Petro Science's first legitimate stoppage win in three years. Cruising to a UD against Hafid El Bustadi at Glory 7, Milan on April 20, 2013, Petro Sion put on a lesson in footwork, timing, and ring generalship as El Bustadi landed maybe two or three shots the entire fight, while simultaneously getting countered, punched, kneed, and body kicked. Competing in the Glory 12, New York Lightweight World Championship Tournament in New York City, New York, United States on November 23, 2013, Petro Sion was knocked out for the first time by eventual champion Andy Risti in the semifinals. He was unable to find his rhythm due to the Surinamese fighter's pressure, but nonetheless remained in control for the first two rounds of the match. In the third, however, Risti came out aggressively, landing a right hand by way of a switch step that had Petro Sion stunned and following up with a left uppercut, putting an end to Petro Sion's 42 fight, six year undefeated streak. After the fight, Petro Sion revealed that he had broken his hand early in the first round. Petro Sion faced Artem Pashporin for the W571 kg world title on February 18, 2017, at W5 Grand Prix Kaitech in Russia. He won the fight by unanimous decision, in his second bout for Bellator Kickboxing, Petro Sion faced Amancio Periskiv at Bellator Kickboxing 5 on April 8, 2017. He won the fight by unanimous decision. Petro Sion was scheduled to fight Janae Risco for the ISKA Super Welterweight, minus 70 kg per 154 pounds, K1 Rules World Championship at Petro Sion Mania in Monza, Italy on October 14, 2017. However, Risco withdrew due to injury and Petro Sion instead fought Chris Njimbai for the vacant title. Petro Sion won via unanimous decision and became the new ISKA Super Welterweight K1 World Champion on July 14, 
2018, at Bellator Kickboxing 10 in Rome, Italy, Petrosian defeated Chingai's Alazov by unanimous decision, scoring a knockdown in the first round, one championship, since 2018. In April 2018, Petrosian signed with one championship, unveiling their Super Series segment as a figurehead, a venture which would intertwine kickboxing and Muay Thai bouts within their MMA-based events. Petrosian found himself in the co-main event slot for one, Heroes of Honor in Manila, Philippines, squaring off against Lion Fight veteran Joe Natawat, about the Armenian-Italian won with his technical defensive kickboxing expertise via a unanimous decision, after securing the Bellator Kickboxing Lightweight Championship on a one-fight stint in July, Petrosian returned to the Asian stage in November. For one, Heart of a Lion, taking on Lumpany Stadium Muay Thai champion Sorgrao Pechiandi. Academy. Petrosian returned in February 2019, competing for a second time in his brother Armin's kickboxing promotion, Petrosian Mania. He successfully defended his ISKA Super Welterweight, minus 70 kilograms per 154 pounds, K1 Rules World Championship against Japanese kickboxer at Sushi Tamafusa. Petrosian was expected to return to one later that year, having recently been announced as a participant in the upcoming One Super Series Kickboxing Featherweight Grand Prix. The event was expected to start around May. In the Grand Prix quarterfinals, he faced Vet Morik at Pechandi Academy on May 17, 2019, at one championship, Enter the Dragon. Petrosian lost by split decision but the result was reversed to a no contest due to illegal clinching and a rematch was scheduled for one championship, Masters of Destiny, on July 12, 2019, Petrosian defeated Fet Morikit by unanimous decision to advance to the Grand Prix semifinals, where he was scheduled to face Joe Natawat for a second time, on August 16, 2019. Petrosian defeated Joe Natawat by KO in the first round at one championship, Dreams of Gold. In doing so, he advanced to the one Super Series Kickboxing Featherweight Grand Prix Final, where he is scheduled to face Sami Sana at one championship, Century, on October 13, 2019, Petrosian defeated Sami Sana by unanimous decision in the Grand Prix Final to become the inaugural One Kickboxing Featherweight World Grand Prix Champion, in addition to winning a $1 million US dollars cash prize. Petrosian next faced former Glory and Kunlun fight champion David Kiria, who made his one debut, at one championship, Fists of Fury on. February 26, 2021, Petrosian won the fight by unanimous decision. Petrosian was next scheduled to face Super Bon Banjamek for the inaugural One Featherweight Kickboxing World Championship at One Championship, first strike on October 15, 2021. Petrosian, the heavy favorite, lost by a second round right high kick knockout, suffering his first loss since 2013 and the second ever knockout loss of his career. Petrosian was later revealed to have suffered a broken jaw, for which he would undergo surgery to repair. Petrosian was expected to face Kambakadov Saifolo for the ISKA Super Welterweight K1 Rules World Championship at Petrosian Mania on December 4, 2021. However, the event was postponed due to Petrosian's injury and is now scheduled to take place on April 30, 2022. Kambakadov was replaced by Fadi Aden. Petrosian won the fight by TKO in the second round. Petrosian challenged the Waco Pro K1 World Super Welterweight, 69.1 kg, champion Sergio Sanchez at Petrosian Mania Gold Edition on May 18, 2024. He won the fight by unanimous decision. Championships and Accomplishments World Association of Kickboxing Organizations 2024 Waco Pro K1 World Super Welterweight, 69.1 kg, Championship 1 Championship 2019 1 Kickboxing Featherweight, minus 70 kg per 155 pounds. World Grand Prix Champion World Version W5 2017 W5 World Minus 71 kg Champion Glory Glory 2012 70 kg Slam Tournament Championship Hero Legends 2015 Hero Legends Minus 70 kg Championship International Sport Karate Association 2017 ISKA K1 World Super Welterweight Minus 70 kg per 154 pounds 
Championship The successful title defense Italian Extreme Italian Extreme for Tournament Championship Janus Fight Night JFN 2006-72 kg per 158 pounds Tournament Championship JFN 2007-72 kg per 158 pounds Tournament Championship K1 K1 World Max 2009 World Championship Tournament, minus 70 kg per 154 pounds, Championship K1 World Max 2010 World Championship Tournament, minus 70 kg per 154 pounds, Championship Combat League KL World minus 66.7 kg per 147 pounds Muay Thai Championship, one time. Three successful title defenses Italian Muay Thai Association MTA Italian Championship, one time, MTA European minus 65 kg per 143 pounds championship, one time, one successful title defense World Kickboxing Network 2009 WKN Intercontinental Welterweight, minus 69.9 kg per 154 pounds, Oriental. Championship, one time, one successful title defense World Muay Thai Council 2005 WMC Intercontinental Welterweight, minus 66.7 kg per 147 pounds. Championship, one time, awards Liverkick.com 2012 Fighter of the Year, BloodyElbow.com 2011 Kickboxer of the Year.